Okay, so now we're ready to start building Nugget. And of course, to build Nugget, I have a clean virtual machine ready to go here. Uh, we're gonna open up the web browser and while we're gonna be building um, AOKP Nugget, I wanna go back to the Android open source project and look at establishing a build environment. Remember, I told you in Lollipop and Marshmallow, we needed OpenJDK 7. But as we're gonna see, when we're setting up our build environment for building Nugget and Oreo, we need OpenJDK 8. Now, if we try to install OpenJDK 8 on Android, or excuse me, on Ubuntu 14.04, which is what we've been using so far, we'll find that it, the package itself doesn't exist. The latest version excuse me, the latest version that they had available for um, a open JDK a Java development kit for 14.04 was uh, version seven. And of course we need version eight. So um, be sure to read through this. This is pretty helpful information just for you to know. Um, you could go with a newer version of Ubuntu and that is a perfectly good solution. However, some of the other packages that you need for building may have some other dependency problems, and I've run into that before. You can usually work around them, and that's just fine. But we're going to look at how do you install uh, OpenJDK 8 on uh, 14.04. Now, if you run sudo apt-get update to make sure that you have the latest list of packages, Then we can go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, we can go ahead and uh, prove that OpenJDK 8 does not exist on 14.04, at least certainly not with a clean install. So if we use uh, sudo apt-get install and OpenJDK-8-8, we see that it reads the package list, it looks for it, and it says that package doesn't exist. But you really need that package. Now, it does list here on the AOSP website several links to packages that you can install just the Debian package itself. And I'm opening them up in separate windows here. And what I've found, at least right now at this point in time, if you open them up, what you find is that they are a 404 not found. These packages, for some odd reason, are dead links. Probably because they changed to a newer version or something like that. Um, but don't lose heart. Uh, they may fix them by the time you look at it. But also, if you go to this archive right here above there, you can see that you're in the index of Ubuntu Pool Universe Open JDK 8, which is great. We can go back to the parent directory, look down here, and see. Yep, here's all the different kind of files that are, excuse me, programs or libraries that you can look through. And as we scroll down, we're going to find, of course, OpenJDK 8, which is where we just were. Let's see. Yep, there it is, JDK 8. Of course, JDK 7, 6 are still in there, and now 9, and looks like a placeholder for 10. So if we click on 8, here we have uh, the files that we need. Now, you can download these files and run the dpackage. And by running dpackage, you can install these Debian dependencies. The only problem is, is that they'll never be updated. They'll be static, which is fine if you're just building Android and that's the only thing you're using this machine for, like the virtual machine that I have here. And you can just follow the instructions on the AOSP website for how to do that, excuse me. But I have found that if you uh, punch into Google like Ubuntu Open JDK 8, JDK on 14.04, you get questions like these pop up and somebody else has already asked it. And if you scroll through here, you'll see actually some people have made some uh, prepackaged uh, um, repositories that you can just add these repositories and use them yourself. Now, a lot of people don't like to add repositories and use them. 
um, that's the decision you have to make. If you want to go the route of just downloading those D packages, these Debian packages, and using uh, D package to install them, uh, that's fine. Just follow the instructions, like I said, on the AOSP website. What I want to show you is how to add the repository. Um, and this works for me uh, for building Android. So um, you certainly uh, are welcome to do this as well. And I want to show you that this option does exist. So if we open our terminal again, and we see this uh, um, this repository right here, sudo add app repository, and then we're going to say uh, ppa colon open jdk dash r forward slash ppa. And when we hit enter on that, we're actually going to be adding that repository to our list of possible repositories. Now, if you run your app get update again, we're going to refresh our list of the most current packages, including the new repository that we just loaded up, which happens to have OpenJDK 8 in it. And so then we can just use the standard traditional uh, sudo app get install OpenJDK 8 JDK. Now, of course, uh, you have to check to make sure this is the latest version if that's what you need. Um, for the purpose of building Nugget and Oreo uh, on Android, I can pretty safely guarantee this is going to work for you because, well, as you're going to see, I'm going to use it here in just a few minutes. So we go ahead, we say yes, we want to we want to install OpenJDK-8-JDK, dash dash the Java Development Kit. We uh, we answer yes to the question. It's going to um, download that information and install it. So I just wanted to show you this is a really easy way to install without having to go depackage and make sure that you meet all the dependencies and install in the right order. But you're welcome to do that, and those instructions are available on the AOSP um, website.